Hello, welcome back to my tech farm. I'm Igor and in this video I have dual and three color filaments for testing and these boxes I have sent to me from a grad kit in exchange for a review. Usually I print mostly functional parts but I have four female members in my family who more and more often order different decorations or toys from me and this would be a good opportunity to test uh, these filaments because they were actually amazed with those I uh, presented earlier, dual color filaments and for the first time I will test uh, three color filaments. If you are not familiar with these types of the filaments, uh, they mix uh, two or three colors in one filament during the manufacturing and when we print it from one side we should have one color and uh, on the other side smoothly the other color. Since these filaments are mostly for decoration, I will not do all those mechanical tests I usually do, uh, only I'm curious about the layer adhesion because these are uh, silk filaments and usually uh, sometimes these types of the filaments may have a weaker layer adhesion, so just to satisfy my curiosity, but uh, mostly I will do some test prints and present you how they look in the real life. Nice vacuum packaging and also they include this resealable bag so after the printing we can place inside with some silica gel and then uh, we can close it to prevent it from the moisture. Of course PLA is not so sensitive to moisture but definitely a uh, much longer lifespan we we'll have it if it is in resealable bag. The filament has additional protection with this foil and uh, there is a warning that uh, never let the end of the filament to prevent the tangler or jam. So that's uh, very nice because if somebody is not familiar with it, you should always lock the end of the filament here if it is not in use. For every filament here the printing temperature is between 200 and 220 degrees Celsius. It is dual color. Uh, I'm missing here the information what is the weight of the empty spool and uh, also exactly what is the color of the filament. I can see this is orange and uh, some kind of uh, purple. If the net weight is really one kilogram, the weight of the empty spool should be 180 grams. It is important if you want to check how much filament you have on the spool when it is almost empty for some longer printing. It is nice that we have this scale here in grams or in meters, but this is not so accurate. With this filament I will print everything on NS3 S1 which has the dial drive extruder and this temperature tower will be from 220 down to 200 degrees Celsius. And like with regular PLA absolutely no problems with this printing. And from this side it is orange and from this purple. My test objects for the layer adhesion test. These are those versions without the holes, but the cross section area is the same, 4 by 4 millimeters. These are my new holders. They are CNC machined by PCBWay. Little bit about 20 kilograms, which could be better, but definitely acceptable for the silk filament. And this printing will be a spinning top toy. I'm curious if you can see some transitions during the rotating and this will be approximately 3 hours printing. Well I had the power loss because my wife was experimenting with the AC plugs. Hopefully it will continue successfully but there is a spot which will be visible. Interesting, here I had that power loss uh, and it is visible on complete ring. And interesting, the seams lines is very visible too. Now let's put M3 bolt here and let's test it. It spins approximately one minute. And I tried to record some slow motion, but unfortunately it's a little bit blurred. I'm not sure is it visible on camera too, but in real life it looks very interesting but only from the side. Next printing. This is the rotating element on the rolling dice. The transition is not super smooth, but it is very interesting to see the color changes during the rotating. And it's time to move to the second spool, which is green and purple color. And this will be a baby Yoda. I'm experimenting with some three supports.
And the last painting will be with this three color PLA. And it will be in spiral vase mode. It's a low poly vase from Printables. Two more hours of printing, but it will be finished overnight. Good morning, printing is finished. And now let's take a closer look. I saw several times this vase on videos, but this is my first time I printed it. And it looks really great. Only I noticed a little bit flow in the design. Uh, for example, this upper part, uh, some elements have a very big overhang and basically it is printed with the bridging. And uh, this is not good for the vase or spiral mode printing. About the filament, uh, I can see that uh, these three colors are not spread uh, equally in the filament. So from this side we have this purple and it is the biggest one. Interesting to see the same color from the inside too. And then from this side it is blue, it is a little bit smaller. And basically the third color is this gray, but it is uh, much smaller compared to the other two. And this is how it looks like under the microscope. On this end it is cut an under 45 degree angle. And here on 90 degree angle. And now quick conclusions. Well, this material is like any other silk PLA filaments. Great printability, a little bit weaker layer attraction, but this is typical for the silk filaments. And it is nice that it arrives on this nice cardboard spool and we get a sealable bag so we can store it after the printing. About this multicolor property, uh, I noticed that the transmission is not always 100% smooth, but I never had twisting of the filament, so always one color was from one side and the other color was from the other side. Uh, with this three color type, I'm not sure is it important, but I would like to see equally spread three colors, because uh, in this case you saw this gray is much smaller compared to the other two, if this is important, but definitely uh, kids like, love this kind of material and objects. And I'm curious who will be the first one who will create a four color filament. As a small suggestion, try to use only two colors, which will change after every quarter of the rotation. But if you have some additional experience, you know a few lines in the comment section. Thank you for watching and happy printing.